Lately, I've been interested in doing books for younger kids. Just very direct, succinct stories with pictures. And Little White Rabbit has grown out of love for that kind of book. It's about Little White Rabbit by himself, imagining what it would be like to be tall, imagining what it would be like to be a different color. And in Little White Rabbit, I wanted to enhance the idea of a rabbit hopping. If you would lay out the first pictures of Little White Rabbit side by side, he really hops. It's a down, up, down, up, down, up movement. When I'm writing a text for a book like Little White Rabbit, I read it aloud, alone, in my studio, again and again and again, because the rhythm has to be exactly right. After I get my manuscript to the point where I think it's perfect, I begin thinking about what I want the art to look like. And with Little White Rabbit, I tried many different sketches. This is what I decided would work for this book. And I think that's one of the interesting things about a finished book. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes, so much that's under the surface. I love making a book really, really work. It's not just words and pictures. They have to work together. I think one of the reasons I'm drawn to making books for younger kids is because they're, they're so pure. Everything is distilled down to the little nugget. And there's something beautiful about that simplicity.